Hello, my soccer universe to a slightly different what to watch uh, video. Um, yeah, lots of things going on. It's cold, wearing my last scarf, last one. You know it from my Europa League video. Um, and so I'm doing this more or less from memory. What I saw, I, we have three big name matchups, two of which are, one of which is probably the best club game at the moment. Uh, one, of, one of which probably has implication for championship and the other one is just two old foes meeting with one being way down, the other one playing for the championship. So uh, let's start actually in Spain where none of these are happening. Um, Spain we have the big boys, Real Madrid and Barcelona are not uh, playing any big name opposition. Uh, I think Barcelona is playing uh, a part or something like that. Um, but we have at least a Madrid-Barcelona matchup with uh, Atletico and Espanyol. That one sounds at least interesting. Although Espanyol in the league, not so good, but they just got a big win in the Europa League. And we have the small match of the Seville Derby. I think that one we can safely say is one to watch for at any time. I think also Granada and Valencia are playing, so that's an interesting matchup. Um, England. Two matchups stick out. That's on Saturday, uh, Leicester City hosting Arsenal. Uh, to me, this is really a matchup that will show us what Leicester is made of in the sense that uh, we don't know. We, every, everyone is expecting Leicester to break and everyone is expecting Arsenal to come. I actually expect Leicester to win this one easily. So uh, that's an interesting one and the big one. Sunday, uh, 5.30 Central Euro European time. Liverpool hosting Manchester City. Uh, biggest matchup of the weekend, I would argue, of the month, to be honest. These are the, as far as it looks to me, and it's hard for me to but I think these are the two best teams in Europe playing each other. It's not the Classico at the moment, I think it's those two teams playing. So uh, it's definitely gonna be a big matchup. I hope it lives up to the expectations. I honestly have some fear that it might end in a draw, nil nilish or whatever, because there's just too much at stake in that game. Way too much at stake. So, but let's see where it goes uh, with this matchup. Um, when we look in Germany, there's the other big one in there, um, that is Bayern against Dortmund. Um, Bayern needs a result in that one. Dortmund probably can live with the draw much better. The only uh, thing is that Gladbach is playing against uh, Bremen, where they probably will get the three points on Sunday. So um, a draw will not be helpful in that sense, but uh, Bayern Dortmund I think this is the first time in a long time that we can actually claim that Dortmund might uh, get something at Bayern. Remember uh, late last season when Bayern completely annihilated them? I think this time around it might be a much tighter affair. Uh, with Bayern still reeling, uh, still coach search, I mean that's a whole thing. Who is going to be the next Bayern coach? Uh, if you ask me at the moment, I think Hansi Flick will continue until the end of the season, unless the results are really, really bad. I think that's what I see. In Italy, um, yeah, we have uh, Saturday, uh, Inter is playing at home to Verona, but that's not a big matchup. I think also Napoli is playing Genoa. <laughs> The whole Napoli situation bugs me to the, to, to, to the core. This is a team that played well, just didn't convert their chances. What the president is doing there is just nuts. I think it will lead to the exit of Angelotti. There's a Bayern coach, maybe. It's not going to go back to Bayern. He didn't work there. It's probably the one uh, club where he didn't work well, I would have to say. Maybe with his early Juventus appointment, but who knows. Anyway, um, the I think the most interesting matchup might be a Parma Roma, to be honest. Uh, the biggest name matchup, uh, I think there's no doubt about it, that is Juventus Milan, but I don't expect anything special coming from there other than a very, very clear Juventus victory. Uh, it has to be clearly said like that. Uh, if Milan gets a point out of there, I'll be ecstatic. I just don't see it. Juventus is not playing great, but they get the results done. So let's see where this goes. Uh, France has the small matter of Marseille-Lyon. 
the two Olympics uh, playing each other. I think that's a pretty nice matchup. And then uh, in Austria, uh, my Lask is playing Admira at home. So we had four games at home in a row, which is nice for a fair change because we had a, a period in October where we had only away games. So it's nice to have uh, lots of home games. And then the biggest matchup is Wolfsburg against Salzburg, uh, which is the third best team versus the best team. Uh, don't know about how Wolfsburg will, is doing currently, to be honest, I don't quite get it. But yeah, um, the problem is it's the same time as Liverpool City, so I will surely not watch it. But I will watch some highlights from that. So that's basically the uh, weekend menu for me. I looked in the other, other leagues, there was nothing where I would say this is a must watch matchup. Uh, in, uh, surely there will be some trip up or, or, or whatever, but I think the big matchups are really in the big leagues this time. And yeah, that's uh, surely an exciting thing. So let me know what you're watching. Um, told you what I'm watching. You see, also, you also saw the menu of the other games that I don't have now in my head. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see what I think I thought about those matches. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.